Okay, thank you, Pam and Dave. Let's get to your top stories. Looting, confrontation, mar, Ferguson streets once more. Armed vehicles and law enforcement officers in riot gear with military-style rifles returned to the streets of Ferguson early Saturday while looters robbed a number of stores. The conversation began after more than two dozen protesters closed off a section of street near a convenience store, the Ferguson Market and Liquor Store, that has become part of the case surrounding Michael Brown, the black teen who was killed by police gunfire one week ago. Texas Governor Rick Perry indicts on two family charges. A grand jury has indicted Texas Governor Rick Perry, a potential 2016 presidential candidate, saying he absent his power by trying to pursue a district attorney to resign. The two finally counts against Perry, a Republican, stem from his threat to veto funding for a statewide public integrating unit run by Travis County District Attorney Rosemary La Hamburg, unless she stepped down. The special prosecutor in the case, Mike Michelle McCurm, said Perry attorney David L. Bostford called the indictment a political absence of the court system. He said the action violated the separation of powers and sets a dangerous person by allowing a grand jury to punish and execute of lawful and constitutional authority afford to the Texas governor. M.M.A. fighter who allegedly assaulted his ex-girlfriend arrested after manhunt. After a week-long manhunt, authorities have arrested mixed martial arts fighter Jonathan Copper Harer in Southern California for allegedly beating his ex-girlfriend in Las Vegas. Skateboarder legend Jay Adams dies of heart attack. Former Z Boys skater Jay Adams died Thursday after a heart attack while vacationing in Mexico with his wife. He was 53. Two are charged with kidnapping in abduction of Arm Amish girls. Police have arrested a couple and charged them with kidnapping in the apparent abduction of two Amish girls in upstate New York this week, authorities said late Friday. Stephen M. Halls to the second, 32, and his girlfriend, Nicole F. Vinch, 25, are being held without bond, according to the St. Lawrence County Sheriff's Office. Federal, federal charges are also a possibility. 
And that does it for your top stories this morning. Dave and Pam, back over to you.